world, many people ask this question, what business can I do in Nigeria? The truth of it is, everything depends on your dreams, your desires, and your personal ability. Good day, viewers. My name is Ochai Blessing. You're welcome to Business World. And today, we'll be looking at small-scale business and how one can, get, can be what he or she wants to be without waiting for the government. And you know how we always do it. It has been our tradition to bring our guests in the studio that will do justice to the topic we have on ground. With me in the studio, I have the CEO of Morphe's Enterprise, which is a clothing line, Miss Victoria Morphe. You're welcome to the studio, Ma. We're happy to have you. Thank you. Nico Snow once says, a small business is an amazing way to serve and leave impact on your today's work. Ma, would you agree with that statement? Yes. Are you for real? Yes. Okay, so let's go straight to what we have for today. So Ma, what do you understand by small scale business? Uh, small scale business or small business establishments okay. that sell goods in small quantity in order to attain ends meet. Wow, it's really a nice one. <laughs> so why did you choose to go into business now? Well, I choose to go into business because that's what I grew up doing. My mom sells clothes. So that's what I learned. I cannot go into business that I don't know anything about. So that's why I have to go into clothing because that's what I grew up into. So we, should we call it a family line or something? <laughs> no, that is not a family line. Okay. So looking at it, I believe small scale business have different varieties. We have like the barbers, the tailors, the provision and all those things like that. So why did you choose to go into clothing line? Well, as I said before, my mom is selling, my mom is doing into clothing. Okay. So that's why I choose to go into clothing because that's what I enjoy doing. Okay. That's nice. So how long have you been into this business? What's to say? For four years now, I've been selling clothes. For four years? Yes. It's really a long time. <laughs> and it's really been an amazing one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So how do you market this product? Considering the fact that it's a small scale business and considering the, 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 health, the, the stress involved, how did you market this, this product? How are people aware of your goods, of your clothes when it arrives? Well, I would say that as a student, because I'm a student, wow. <laughs> so I take it to hostels and room by rooms advertising my projects and also thank God for technology I take picture of it and post it in group chats on Facebook and also drop my contacts in case they need it mm -hmm. and call me okay it must really be an hectic one for you yeah it is so looking at the process that has been involved why did you see your business in the next five to ten years because I believe for every for before someone will start a business mm -hmm. there is a goal there is something that you're pursuing and considering the name, the business is not yet established, but giving him, giving the business such a big name like Morphin Enterprise, it's really a big name, you know. So, what did you think? Where are you expecting your business to be in the next five to ten years, ma? In the next five to ten years, I see my business globally, mm -hmm. which name Morphin Enterprise, and my day will be spe specialized on online marketing, mm -hmm. online sales and shipping, mm -hmm. and we we'll also do that is to be more internationally than it is now. Wow, it should be a nice one. Well viewers, we'll be taking you to the streets where we'll get public opinion on what they understand on small scale business. And we'll be doing that with Patience Oko. Alright, good day. Welcome to Voice on the Streets. I am Okum Patience. Here we're going to get people views and opinion on what they think about small scale business. Let's small go. Scale small scale, scale yes, business. Yes, it's it's scale. very good. Because uh, government cannot uh, provide everyone with a job now. So if the youths have their uh, training in any of the enterprise, it's very good. You will be self-employed. You employ others. Keep yourself busy, not even bothering to wait for government uh, job. And you are good to go. Once you are self The capital of small-scale business usually is smaller than the normal big business we used to know. So that is the big thing. That is the only thing I know about small scale business. Wait. Small scale business, a business that are owned by a, an individual. It doesn't have to be capital intensive, as in whatever you have. Small scale business. You can even start with hundred naira, as in you can buy pure water, one bag, and then sell. You keep the profit, buy again, you save the profit. And before you know it, the money for one bag will give you money for two. Before you know it, the business is 
progressing. You don't need a big capital or loan from anywhere to start a small scale business. So my view concerning small scale business is a small scale business is such a business that if you come down to do it, understand, it will help you a lot. It will help you a lot. Inside, which is say, if you try and make a business on a small scale business, understand, you make you be able to make your life easier. You make money about it with kind of small scale business. To be sincere, uh, whatever you want to do in your life, understand, you will be able to make it all. To start business small, not until it's big. It's small that we generate to bigger business. Okay, that's how we'll be taking for small scale business on the street. Let's go back to the studio where we'll have a child lesson. That was a nice one from Oko Patients. But viewers, as you can see, many people have their own different idea of what they think or see as small scale business. But don't forget, we still have our guest in the studio. If you're just joining us, she's the CEO of Morphine's Enterprise. And she has been doing justice to the topic we have today. And Ma, before we went for the, before we went before we took the voice pop on the streets, I was asking you what has been your biggest challenges because I know every business has its own challenge. What has been your biggest challenges in this business? Uh, my challenges. One of my challenges are transporting my goods from where I base down to school area. Yeah, okay. because I base in the east. Wow. So transporting it on entry night journey with those schools and they'll be charging you a lot of money. And not only that, students will be pricing your goods below the price that you bought them. Those are the biggest challenges that I have. So, in few words, what would you, what would be your advice to those who are into small scale business and who are seeing it as something that they can't cope, like they're already giving up on it already? What would be your advice to them? Well, my advice that they shouldn't give up, no matter what. She just keeps focusing on the future. Mm -hmm. That a thousand miles begins with a step. So no matter what happens, they have to start small to get to that goal that they're looking for. So that's my advice. Well, viewers, it has been an amazing time with Miss Morphin, the CEO of Morphin's Enterprise, in the studio. I tell you the truth, she has been an amazing guest and she has done a lot of justice to the topic we have at hand. Thank you very much for having you in the studio. Thank you very much. And I hope we we'll do this some other time. Can I give a shout out? So why not? You can. Alright. I want to shout out to my mom, Miss Murphy, my other brother, Murphy Manuel, and my fiance, Charles Smoker, for always being there for me and supporting me no matter what. And I also want to shout out to my friend, Anna Maria, for always helping me out with advertising my business. And I also want to shout out to my customers. God bless you all. Thank you. That was really a nice one. It's been nice having you in the studio. And I hope we'll do this some other time, ma. Of course. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Then Ark once says, failure is not to be feared. It is from failure that most growth come. Let's join Irina Blessing for the news. Welcome to new segment on your favorite program, Business World. I'm by name, Aruna Blessing. Here are the headlines. Niger state government reacts to allegations of misappropriating 1.4 billion hotel funds. Nigerian students shine at German government entrepreneurship competition. Disease from fixing artificial eyelashes, says Federal Polytechnic Bida Medical Practitioner. The news in full. Niger state government react to allegation of misappropriating 1.4 billion hotel funds. The Niger state government has reacted to allegations by the former governor of the state, Dr. Moazu Babangida Haliu, that the state governor, Abubakar Sanibelu, has misappropriated the 1.4 billion he left behind for the abandoned five star hotel project in Mina, the state capital. The state government, in a statement in Mina, on Sunday by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, no. Mary Noel Brajde, described the allegation as misleading 
and an attempt to win the sympathy of the People's for Aliyu's Dying People's Democratic Party ahead of the November 30th local government election in the state. The press secretary expressed dismay that despite the respect accorded the ex-governor by the Belo administration as a man that has governed the state for eight years, the Aliyus could allow politics to be cloud his sense of judgment by spreading falsehood against the government just to achieve political popularity. Nigerian students shine at German's government entrepreneurship competition. Niger State have emerged winners of the inaugural student entrepreneurship activity hub, C Hub National Competition. The competition, which was organized by Duce Zumba Nabet G12 on Thursday, 7th November 2019 in Abuja, was titled Securing the Future of Young Nigerians. Government Model Science School, Bida also of Niger State, came out second, while Government Secondary School, Township in Plateau, came out third, out of the 15 schools that participated. Minister of State for Education, Mr. Chukwe Emeka Muadjuaba said that it was a privilege to be a part of the Laudable Initiative and commended G12 for organizing it. This is from Fixing Artificial Eyelashes, says Federal Polytechnic BIDA Medical Practitioner. Medical practitioner at the Federal Polytechnic BIDA Medical Center, Alajid Yabagi Gimba, has advised ladies to desist from the habit of fixing artificial eyelashes. He said, female claim using artificial eyelashes to enhance their beauty, which they are ignorant of the grievous consequences and health implications of their action all in the name of fashion. According to the head of nursing service of the Federal Polytechnic Bida, natural eyelashes as its natural way of preventing dust, sweat and bacteria and other dangerous materials from entering the eyes by trapping and keeping out anything that comes near. And that's all for the news. If you're just joining us, here are the recap of the story. Niger state government reacts to allegation of misappropriating 1.4 billion hotel funds. Nigerian students shine at German government's entrepreneurship competition. Disease from fixing artificial eyelashes, says Federal Polytechnic Bida Medical Practitioner. On behalf of the news editor, Efiong Salomi, and the production team, I'm by name, Aruna Blessing. Back to Ochai Blessing. Welcome back. That was a business shift from Aruna Blessing. A lot of people have ideas, but there are few who decide to do something about them. Not tomorrow, not today, but now. And with this, we've come to the end of today's program on Business World. Hope to see you next time, next week, and same station. As you remain your host, a child blessing. Thanks for staying with us.